Well, hello there. My name is Robert, and I'm going to show you in this video how to play Royal Parade. If you want to watch this video while you play, simply come up to the top right corner and click on the blue question mark. So in Royal Parade, the goal is to rearrange these cards in a particular way and then stack cards in a particular way. Now, first, Royal Parade uses two decks, so there's two of every card. Now, the aces aren't really needed, so you can take the aces and you can just move them over here to the waste pile. So we'll just do that with all the aces that we see. Now, next, the first three rows is where you're going to arrange the cards in order to win. Now, if you notice on the left column, there's a two, and then there's a three, and then there's a four. Every single game will always start with a two here, always start with a three here, and will always start with a four here in the third row. This is to show you that the entire first row, the bottom card needs to be a two. In the second row, the entire row, the bottom card needs to be a three, and in the third row, in the entire row, the bottom card needs to be a four. So let me show you what I mean. So this two doesn't belong in the second row, it belongs in the first, so we'll just drag the two over here and that'll stay there. We have a three down here we can put here. We have another three that we can put here. Now, what else, where do the rest of the cards go if you only see two, three, and four? Well, those stack on top of existing cards. And you do it by incrementing by three. So, for example, in the first row, you put a 2 anywhere. And then on top of 2s, you put a 5, which is 3 more than 2. And then on top of the 5s, you put an 8. And on top of the 8, you put a jack. Now, when you put those cards on there, they do have to be the same suit. And you add 3 to the 3s as well and add 3s to the 4s. So here you have start with a 3, then the next card you need is a 6, then a 9, and then 3 plus 9 is 12, which is equal to a queen. And here you start with 4, then you add 3 and you get 7, and then 10, and then king. So since, and if you ever need to know what card next, if you put your mouse over the card and then look at the bottom left corner, you'll see next card, seven of hearts. So in this case, I need a seven of hearts to go on here. If I put it over the three, it says the next card I need is the six of diamonds. So if I need the seven of hearts here on the four, I can just put that there, and then that stack there. And then the next card I need here is the ten of hearts, but I don't see the ten of hearts. So that must mean it must be in this deck here. Now, one row I haven't talked about is this bottom row at the very bottom. This doesn't work like the other rows. This is what's called a reserve row. The reserve row just holds cards. You can't actually put any cards here. Like, I can't drag the 8 here. But, if I need more cards, I can come click on the deck, and then one card will be dealt to each of the reserve spaces. So I see some 4s here, and the bottom section here, I need four. So if you look where my mouse is, at the bottom left corner, you'll see next card, four. So I can just put the fours here. And here, the next card I need is the seven of diamonds. So I can take the seven and I can put that there. And you just keep playing until you can get all the cards in these first three rows stacked correctly. So you'll have four, seven, ten, king in each spot here all of the same suit. You'll have three, six, nine, and queen in each spot here, all of the same suit. So for example, three, and then the six goes here. And then here you'll have two, five, eight, and jack, all of the same suit. If you can do that, you win. Well, I hope this video was useful, and I hope you have fun.